Hello, welcome back to the Happy Hut. My name's Neil and if you're new to the channel, you're most welcome, but I don't think anything in this video will make that much sense because I have got the nicest comments on, on my videos lately that have said things like, Neil, where are you? Well, I haven't seen a video be uploaded in three weeks. Is everything okay? And no, everything isn't okay. And I'm gonna show you why <laughs> here in the hut. So it's been uh, quite a busy time in the garden. I've got some randy, pigeons on the roof so you might hear uh, quite a lot of noise from them but let's go into the hut and I'm going to show you some of the changes I've made to my YouTube studio setup. I absolutely love watching YouTube studio setup videos so I thought well why don't I make one of my own. I've made some changes to the setup here and I, I think it might be a bit of overkill. This is how the setup is looking at the moment. Uh, I've got an Ikea standing desk, the Skarsta standing desk, and that's gonna be featuring on my Ikea dad channel. Ding! <laughs> Very soon, once I get through all of the editing. It really works, it's so much better. And I've put in the, the light panel that featured on the, on the last video. I still think the lighting is a bit harsh. And hello, here I am on camera two. So this, this is the potential new setup and I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the lighting. It feels a bit, a bit harsh. It still feels a bit bright at the moment. But the great thing with this is that apart from me being able to pretend like I am I Justine, <laughs> which is obviously a very long held ambition of mine, but I also have a second camera up in the roof. Uh, it's actually my phone. There, there's a bit of shot. So that's giving me a, a top down. View, and I've got that running now and here this is something else that I've put into my desk I've made a, a video about this and that should be the next video up on the channel and what it is is it's this I've, I've cut a hole in my brand new desk I've cut this hole for this headphone jack and USB port so I can just plug things into my desk and I can transfer files really easily from even micro SD card but it's also got an SD card import as well, if I ever go down the route of having SD cards, like I should. Uh, and it's also got a little gap in here, so I can run my microphone cable down there, under the desk, and all the way over to camera two over there. Hello, you're still there. Let me show you underneath the desk, because that's where the magic happens. So underneath here, I have my mini PC lashed to the desk up there. I haven't quite sorted out the spaghetti yet. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna bind those up. I'm gonna move the ethernet cable to over to that side. This is the underside from the USB port and headphone port. I'm gonna sort of cable tie, cable clip that to the, to the desk there, tidy it all up. I've put the whole thing on casters as well. The whole thing moves, which is really great. And I, and I can obviously use this winding handle, the IKEA Skarsta, desk has a winding handle that makes the desk go down as well so I'll keep it up for this shot here. Now the idea is that I think I mentioned this in my last video that I want to be standing up while shooting my YouTube videos because it it just feels a lot more energetic he says on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> spent all day trying to get this ready but I do have some energy left and the next two videos will be me fitting the USB port to the desk and also oh, sneak preview I'm going to be doing an unboxing or first impressions review of the Audio Technica ATH M40X which has been very kindly provided by my work but it turns out that these are the exact headphones that I've been coveting for about a year now, since I saw this video with uh, Phineas Eilish. Billy Eilish's producer brother uses these very same headphones. It's been torture to uh, get this desk ready so before I can unbox it. So I'm looking forward to that. And look, look, this is the top shot. Does that work? I'll be able to tr test this in the edit. I think it's doing it in portrait mode, which isn't very helpful because I've got to flip it over and I don't think that helps the, the quality at all. I like, <laughs> I like flying camera number one here. That's pretty cool. Let me show you what it's like to actually stand at this desk. It's, I think I'll have to pull back a bit to get everything in. But what's great is that I can have the monitor here and the wish is that I have got a USB-C to HDMI output and I think my phone does actually output HDMI footage 
but my monitor is too old to actually take that in. So I'm going to have to work out some way of getting some kind of HDMI monitor so I can actually see what I'm shooting in the ceiling. And that will be a lot easier because then I'll know where to hold the box. It sounds like we've got a motorcycle display team outside, but it's, it's a summer Sunday, so we've got some mowing going on. I haven't quite figured it out how to completely soundproof the, the hearts. I guess closing the door would help, wouldn't it? Let's try that. So what do you think, loyal subscribers? I thank you so much for your comments, but is, is the lighting too harsh? And how is this framing for you? <laughs> it feels really comfortable for me, and I can make the desk go even higher if I want to. I almost snapped the monitor cable when I did this earlier. But, oh my goodness, this feels so comfortable. And I can hold, I can hold pack shots like this, or from up above. Thanks for being there. Thanks so much for your kind comments. I promise I've got some cracking banger videos on their way to you right now. And right here, I've, I've had that box over my face, haven't I? Right here is <laughs> some, some other things that I've been doing on YouTube. Thanks once again. And we've got some more great videos coming right up. I think that was everything. <laughs>